guys welcome to today's video I wanted to sit down and do my makeup. well I have to do I don't have to do my makeup but I'm going to do my makeup I'm just gonna get ready and I'll just kind of update you guys on life as I go I'll do makeup and talk so I'm gonna already prime my face I used the Becca backlight priming filter um, I'm going in with my NARS all day luminous weightless foundation in medium one and I'm just gonna warm that up and apply it with my fingers first and then I'll blend it out with a brush. So I'm just gonna go in with this BH Cosmetics number nine brush and blend that in. Oh, I should've got a mirror. Oh, here we go. That'll, that'll do. I haven't worn this foundation in a long time. It looks so brainy. I'm not trying to edit this too much because editing is like the bane of my existence. <laughs> and I had a lip, um, I had this Jordana in a different color, the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lips. These are amazing. They're $5 at Walgreens, I think. And they are so good. This one's a little light. I think I'm gonna try to wear this, but I might mix it. Anyway, I had the red one on and they don't come off your lips. So I'm just gonna go over it with my foundation because I don't usually do this. That way they're not like so damn red. I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. I'm just gonna throw that in here. Oh, I forgot I was gonna tell you guys. I'm gonna start a new channel that's gonna be more kind of like personal things like my tiny house and things that just you know and food <laughs> things that don't necessarily relate to makeup because I feel like this channel needs to stay makeup relate makeup and beauty related and I don't have an issue with that but the way my life is going right now I just don't have time to sit down and film a full-blown makeup routine I mean um like a makeup tutorial this is just a little bit more casual so I can at least talk to you guys about what 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 I'm doing I'm blending this in with a Malika Jaffron K to four brush I don't know these were a gift from my brother that boy always knows what to get me it's kind of weird anyway so I thought I would start a new channel so I could talk about my tiny house and not feel like I'm bombarding people who want to know about beauty with my tiny house stuff. Hopefully if any of you guys are interested, I'll link that new channel down below. I have like a love-hate relationship with this hairstyle. Like I think it looks good, but then it's like kind of annoying and I feel like it looks silly. I, I just bear with me while I figure this out. Oh, will you guys leave me your favorite beauty gurus down below? I follow so many, um, but I'm afraid I feel like I've seen everyone's videos and I just kind of need someone new to fall into a hole with, you know? Does that sound right? Like, you find someone new on YouTube and then you just watch all of the videos they've ever posted and you're like, oh my gosh. Okay, so now that that's pretty much blended, I'm going to go back in with this and just kind of blend the concealer into the foundation a little bit. I'm sorry if this, well, it's too bright because I'm using natural light, which I think it looks really nice, but it tends to like brighten up everything. And then I'm going for like an extraordinarily glowy makeup look today. And like you can see this foundation just already, it already, look, let me see if it'll, let me focus, focus on me, focus on me. Just already nice and glowy, but I'm gonna, crank it up a notch with some powders. So I'm gonna set my face with a Tarte, what is this, Smooth Operator Powder. Be careful with this powder because I tried to bake with this. Girl, no, that was a big mistake. I didn't even put any on there. Um, this stuff, if you pile it on, like doesn't blend out. It is very strange. So I'm gonna just go in with the Sephora Pro Airbrush number 55. And I'm just gonna like, ooh, you see, this is so finely milled, but the flashback is to be feared. So I'm gonna tap off as much of that as I can, because I also don't want a lot of powder on my face. And I'm just gonna set. 
pretty much everything. I like to think I just set like my under eyes and my T-zone, but I end up going over my whole face. Okay. But yeah, this foundation has like the worst, or not the foundation, the powder has terrible flashback. It like turned my face white when I tried to bake with it. It was a nightmare. But like using a little bit, oh my God, it just feels so nice. It still feels a little, a little tacky because I didn't want to use too much, so, but that's okay. Now for the fun stuff. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna go hard with the glow today. So I'm gonna use the Milani Baked Bronzer in Soleil. I like this bronzer. I feel love-hate with this bronzer because I like it once it's on, but I feel like in the pan, it just looks super red. Like it's almost like my shirt color and this is like orange. <laughs> and I feel like it kind of looks crazy, but I still use it. Like what's wrong with me? I don't know. And then I'm just gonna put that everywhere pretty much. So you see like once it's on, it's like not that bad, but I'm gonna build it up anyway, so it'll probably look crazy. I'm not going in with eyeshadow today. That's one thing I've kind of like forfeited lately is eyeshadow, unfortunately, because it's one of my favorite things about makeup. But I also just, it takes so much time. I'm like, oh, I can't do a smoky halo eye today. I got shit to do. So this is kind of what I've been doing which is still not super simple. Like I didn't just slap a BB cream on and call it a day because that's just like not who I am as a person, you know? So I'm just gonna put my bronze helmet on and I always take it over my lids so that they have some kind of color. I forget to like hold my brush towards the back. So that's another hint if you tend to go a little heavy with any product is just to hold your brush further back because the less pressure you can put on when it's back here, like if you're holding it here, you can kind of put a lot. But if you hold it back here, it's like you can't really do much there, you know? So it's kind of nice. <laughs> Boom, bronze, nice, yay. I'm gonna go in with Milani Baked Blush in Rose, Rose de Oro. They're not trying to be fancy, except with the D part. I'm gonna just put that on my cheekies. I'm so not a blush fan, but I know it makes me look alive, so I still, I still do it. Do you ever catch your makeup with like your legs or your hands and then you just have makeup everywhere? Me too. So yeah, this life update's kind of over. <laughs> um, I just moved into my parents' house while our tiny house gets finished building, and I'll talk about that so much in the vlogs. Um, my moving vlogs that I'll post on my next channel that I don't really want to bore you guys with it So if you have questions about that, let me know But for the most part, that's what I've been up to just moving getting my life together somewhat <sighs> Life is weird y'all. Okay, I'm gonna go in with I dropped this a million times so it might Gently place that back into the. Oh my god, it's all falling out. Okay, okay. Oh, but why do you do this to me? It's like so sad. I'm gonna use what's on my hand. I don't know if that's enough. No. I'm gonna have to go into the brokenness that is my now. <laughs> oh my god, it's so sad. Okay, I'm just getting a crap ton on my brush. Like, I'm not even really trying to dust it off because crazy like that, I live on the edge. Okay, I'm just gonna pop that right there. I like how like I keep getting closer to the end of my brush. I use the same brush for everything. I, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, I have a blush brush and a highlight brush and a bronzer brush. I'm just like, just pop it all on with one brush. There's really no need. And then I like to just even bring that on the apples and then up to the temples and then kind of like all over my body. Going back in, going in for the kill, tapping into my product. Oh, that's Becca Opal. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I did. Oh, whatever. It's my favorite part. Look at it. How pretty. Such a weird, like, huh, to get my left side. On the nosy. On the cupid's bow. I take my finger into that and I put it on the inner corner. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face. It's like, oh, you could stop here if you're actually listening to me. Um, but I'm, I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna go in with this palette that I'm holding. The Manizer Sisters by The Balm. It has all their highlights. Let me show you. Those are them. So I'm actually going to use the bronzer as like, oops, well, I'm gonna use Betty Luminizer as a bronzer topper so I can have like even more glow to this face because I need it. I don't need it, but I want it. You know what I'm saying? Need and want, What? what's the difference? I feel like it makes the slightest difference. <laughs> and it is, I really like the color. So let's see, let's compare this side to that side and see if there's anything. pretty poppin why do I why do I even do this I feel like maybe it may okay hold on does it make a difference in person eh you can skip this step <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> just so I have like the essence of JLo now that I have less I'm really just putting that all on my face oh, yes, girl are we done? No, because I wouldn't be me if I had stopped at step 10 of highlighting. <laughs> I'm going to take Cindy Lou, which is the pinky one, and I'm going to use that as a blush topper. Okay, done with that. Oh my gosh, look at that glow. Um, I'm going to clean off my brush a little bit because there's like 80 pounds of highlighter on it. What's new? Hey, Moose. And then I'm going to just use that Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. I feel like it does kind of mattify a little bit. Am I crazy? I don't know. All right, so just doing the same thing where I kind of like take a little bit and just like pound it into the brush. I'm just gonna use that to blend everything together. It's supposed to be a quick get ready with me and then we're like going harder than I anticipated. I'm sorry. I'm not even a rush, I'm not even in a hurry, so. That's weird. Um, time management, you guys. What a wild idea. I um, This is also something I've not talked about on my channel, which I think is appropriate. And this is something I do with my friend Michelle. Her and I um, began a little self-care Sunday. And this was back in January. So her and I would get together. It was at least me and her, but everyone was usually invited. And it's it, we deemed it self-care Sunday. And what we did during self-care is we would go through things in our lives. Um, we'd invite our friends. And we, I'm going in with the Jordana Quick Brow Micro Pencil. This is not bad. It's very waxy. But I don't find that it like moves around too much during the day, which is nice. So anyway, we would do these things on Sundays. We'd invite our friends. And, you know, we'd have like drinks or coffee or tea or, you know, snacks. And we'd have different topics every week so we talked about fear we talked about relationships we talked about um insecurities we talked just a lot of things that we just like to talk about you know it's really just to get together and converse and feel like you have a space of non-judgment that you can go to in order to vocalize what you're going through and also have people there who are not judging you for feeling what you're feeling or making you feel guilty or anything like that. I really was benefiting a lot from that and it made me really happy to have people who were willing to spend their Sundays with me and Michelle and whoever else wanted to show up. I think I've mentioned here before how much I'm a, I love to talk. We would just get together and have these little self-care Sundays and once I moved um, unfortunately like that schedule just got thrown off because I now live at least 30 minutes from everybody. Fortunately, like Michelle will host it one weekend and I'll host it the next weekend. So then, you know, I'll be able to go to her house and people can go there and it doesn't seem as far. The point of why I'm telling you this is because I, I don't know, I think it's a little bit obvious that people are very important and the people in your lives are important and how you treat those people is important. And I just didn't want to, okay, backstory. I had a friend back in high school and I had known him since middle school. His name was Davis. And he was like a very fun person to be around. He was always joking. He was very high spirited. But 
once I got into college and I wasn't seeing him as often, I didn't realize the things that he was ex ex um, experiencing. I didn't realize all the troubles he was dealing with internally. One day, my friend um, gives me a call and she tells me that he has taken his own life. I have never been so heartbroken and I never felt so much guilt. Um, and if you've ever been in that situation, I'm sure you can relate. And it's, it took me a long time to realize like, no, it's not my fault. I couldn't really do anything for him at that point. And you know, I can't, oh my God, is this? Okay, so I bought this like a week ago. I've only used this like three times and it's out. All right, I'm gonna try to get this other brow done. <laughs> um, kind of an uh, inopportune moment for that to happen. I feel like this might be working, but I don't know. I'm like literally, there's nothing I'm working with here, so. <laughs> Goodness, what a mess. I, I really don't wanna talk about that too much, um, but the point of why I mentioned it is because people in your lives your close friends in your lives, the people you see on a daily basis are struggling with things they don't want to talk about. I'm one of those people. I have things that I struggle with that I don't want to talk about. Um, and I don't feel like I should have to talk about them um, because it makes me feel vulnerable. It makes me feel sad. It makes me feel these emotions that are uncomfortable. And hold on. I tend to only like this by itself, but whatever. It's the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Brunette. Anyway, people are going through shit, man, and they don't want to talk about it, and they internalize it, and it's something against our human nature because humans need to be connected to one another. Like, that's a necessity that we as humans require. We need to feel connections with those around us. So it's so important that you let people speak, and I've come to terms with a lot of things, and through those meetings I've been able to be more open about things I don't want to talk about and it's helped me so much and I'm glad it's been able to help the women and the men who are a part of it so my challenge to anyone this brow looks crazy uh, my challenge to anyone is I, I challenge you to host a self-care Sunday with your friends even if it's just you and you're the friend I still, ho I still challenge you to host something small or large, invite the people you care about, talk about the things that are going on with them, offer them support, offer them your love, your friendship, your understanding, listen to them, don't interrupt, just like be a friend. I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I'm gonna apply the fully charged mascara by Pure Cosmetics. Um, it has lash glue on it. Our last uh, self-care, which we've promptly changed the name to Stylized Weekly Improvement Meetings. Swim, swim meetings, just keep swimming. It's fun, it's cute, get on the train. If you have not heard about Big Talk, this is one, this is actually one we had last time, was Big Talk. I highly recommend that you, you look into that for yourself and for the people around you, just so that you are making an active effort to make their lives better and to make your own life better. And so that's my challenge <laughs> to you. That's pretty much what I've been up to. So now you know. <laughs> Just putting a thin layer of this. I've been liking less mascara. What? Who am I? See, look at that. Oops. Got that on something. You see how like, it's not crazy, but it just looks like I have lashes now compared to like my baby lashes on the left. Whatever. That's just my, my spiel about lashes and friendship. <laughs> um, is there something that you do particularly for self-care, like you as a person, like is there something that you do that fuels your soul? I'm still working on myself and I will always be. Um, and self-care is one of those things I tend to put very much so on the back burner. And I'm like, no, I have like way too much stuff to do to sit here and do a face mask and a body scrub and make myself feel good, you know? But how sad is that, that I won't even make time for myself? So that's pretty much it for the eyes. I'm just keeping it, keeping it simple. 
Okay, well, what do I put? Oh, lips, God, how sad is this situation? Okay, I'm gonna, I think I am gonna mix two. I think I'm gonna mix this Jordana one with my favorite stone. Um, I just feel like stone right now is too dark for me. Well, I still wear it and I still love it, but I, I want something lighter today. So I'm gonna put this on first and then I'll go over that with the Jordana one. I love this color. And the best thing about these is you don't have to be super precise. Like it, for some reason, doesn't look terrible. These, a little bit more you do. So I'm just going to take that and put the here. And then now I'm just going to take my finger and actually look in the mirror and start just the camera. How cute. Oh, I love that combination. I had actually never tried it till now, but. I love it. Do you like it? What do you think? I love it. Okay. Good makeup day. Don't you love that? Okay. I do. That's just me. All right. I'm going to finish everything with the uh, Urban Decay setting spray. I'm actually using the D, D Slick one. Okay. I can't find the other one, so that's why. Just like a little. Guys, thank you for spending some time with me and for wanting to know what's going on in my life. I hope this has been sufficiently informative. I can talk for hours, so I wanted to keep it somewhat focused on what exactly I wanted to tell you. I hope you like this makeup look. Let's get close. Let's get close to the camera so you can see my face is what it looks like okay I, i'm really bad at rhyming um but i have a secret hopes of being a rapper one day um shh, don't tell anyone that's a secret um all right i'll see y'all later bye